Uh, so a video here to talk about solving trig identity equations um, using quadratics or involving quadratics. Uh, you're going to see what I mean in a minute. I'm going to jump straight into sort of working with this question. Solve the equation 2 sine squared theta equals sine theta over the domain 0 is less than theta, which is less than 2 pi. Now, uh, probably the easiest way to, to work with these when you see a sine squared theta and a sine theta, the way, the easiest way to think about it is to let sine theta equal x. If you start with that, uh, it means that you can work with, with smaller entities. So if I let sine theta equals x, 2 sine squared theta, remember that sine squared theta is really sine theta squared. So this 2 sine squared theta is going to be the same as 2x squared equals sine theta, which is x. 2x squared equals x. And now I just need to solve for x. Solve for x. I'm going to do that by moving everything to one side. 2x squared minus x equals 0. I'm going to factorize this. Uh, x is a common factor here. x, 2x minus 1 equals uh, 0. And now I'm going to solve for x in both cases. So using the null factor theorem, this says that x times 2x minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, x equals 0 or 2x minus 1 equals 0, which means that x equals 1 half. Uh, not showing a lot of working there, make sure that you do. So I've got two answers here, x equals 0 or x equals a half. Now that I know that, I can come back to where I started here, where I said let sine theta equals x. If x equals sine theta, and x equals 0, then sine theta equals 0. And if x equals 1 half and sine theta equals x, then um, that means that sine theta equals 1 half. Now I've got two answers here, and I just need to solve for theta between 0 and 2 pi. Now with this first one, you're going to have to be really careful because sine theta equals 0 between 0, which is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to 2 pi, is going to have three answers. Uh, theta is equal to 0, pi, and 2 pi. It's this less than or equal to sine. Remember that sine theta equals 0 exists here, so it exists at 0 here at pi, and here again at 2 pi. If these were less than signs, it would only have one answer, because we couldn't include 0 or 2 pi. And the other answer, sine theta equals 1 half. Uh, sine theta equals 1 half, C, A, S, T. This quadrant, C, A, S, T, as pi on 6. And in this quadrant, the sine quadrant, as 5 pi on 6. So, back to the beginning. Solve the equation 2 sine squared theta equals sine theta over 0 and 2 pi. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 answers. This is not particularly pleasing because it's not in order. So let's put it in order. Answer. Theta is equal to 0 pi on 6. Uh, 5 pi on 6, pi and 2 pi. All right, uh, that's solving trig identity equations using quadratics. Uh, there is a slightly more complicated one, which we're definitely going to have to talk about as well, but there's our general idea.